Oh, David. Okay, okay. Thanks. When will you teach me how to play the kachapi? A kind of vina in a grove that is filled with humming bees on the shore of your lake. Yeah. In this verse, a vision is described of Swamini teaching the Veena. Oh, Devi, when will you teach me how to play the Veena? In a grove on the bank of your Kunda. Who can ask? Only Manja can ask the Swamini. The Dati can ask. The Mithaven has the power to ask when you will do this. Jai Ho! <laughs> when you're a student, then when you will teach me? When you will teach me? When that day will come for me, that I will learn some music from you. <laughs> and what? Bina, like guitar, like instruments, and I will learn from you. When they will come for me, that I will learn from you. <laughs> because this is the thing I can sing through that. Your song, sweet song, loving song, loving name, there is, on, is the way for our life. All are singing, whole world is singing and telling, but they sing their mellow they for, for themselves, talking for themselves. But I want to learn from you to sing for you in your manner. Very, very beautiful. I want to learn from you to sing like your mood in my voice, in my feelings. I want to put that mellow because I want to learn from you to sing like you, to please you. You please to Krishna and I want to please you. That mellow, I want to sing how I will learn this. Please give me when you will teach me that. Sri Radhe. Tell him, Baba, it's okay. <laughs> Yananda Maharaj. Add something. Only to grow our feelings is the goal. What comes, share that. Hmm? Just like Rasika poetry, Veena playing is also required while serving the divine couple. What is that? I am not Rasika. I have no knowledge of what is meaning of Rasika. And I don't know how to make poetry. But I know in your association, all who comes, they become Rasika. Only to meditate your feet, they become Rasika. And
and sitting with that, all those who is sitting under your shelter, if I will start sitting, maybe some waves of vibe, what you say, intuition waves will come inside me. How they make the poetry, how they make mellow, how they sing so sweet voice to attract you and you sing to attract Krishna. You know this. Gurudev, when I was reading in uh, Raghunatha Goswami Swasankalpa Prakasha Stotram, in the verse 2, it is also about the Veena playing, and it is said when when Swamini teaches uh, Tulsi Manjari, Radhi Manjari, the Veena, um, at one point uh, Krishna is listening and hearing this uh, Veena playing when, when uh, Radhika is teaching it to the Tulsi Manjari. Krishna is hearing it and he secretly comes to the Kunja and then when he hears it, he becomes so overwhelmed that he can no longer hide outside the Kunja, but he has to go inside. So much so is the, the Veena playing, stirring each note. It, Baba is writing there, each note is plucking at Krishna's heart. So each note Radhika is playing is tearing Krishna more and more to come to meet with her. And then slowly Tul Tulsi Mantra is going out and Krishna is coming in. Wow. So attraction, so much sweetness in singing. You, see, you are in Italy when Jasoda and Ramananda Rai both they sing. How special wives are happening. And you imagine who is Madanakya Mahabhav Radhika when she sings to catch Krishna, how it attracts. When Krishna plays the flute, all Braja is attracted. Everyone drop to do anything, other thing, and they run to for the fruit. Even in the midnight, gopis run for that. And cows stop moving. Everything start stop moving, and they become so influenced in that voice. And this hero who attracts the whole universe, when Radhika sings, he becomes happy. And that Tulsi Manjari is asking when you will give me chance to learn from you, that sweetness of the song, what you sing for Krishna, I want to learn to call him for you. When Krishna goes far, the more I will sing that song to call him back. When I will sing that loudly, when Krishna will listen that, he will come running to me I when know. sound coming and catch him and bring to you. Mm. There are there. Guru Dev. Yeah. Sometimes Krishna play fruit. 
that melody enters the Radarani's ear. Sometimes Radarani faint. So Radarani could not wake up. So Torashi Manjari play Bina. That's that's Bina, which Radharan is secretly teaching Torashi Manjari. Because, because very intimate pastime, Torashi Manjari is singing. Then Radhika Swamini is, is again, she become wake up. Then she, she can again start learning for Krishna. Or even Krishna faint sometimes. Then, wow. then Manjari singing so nicely, Radha Mohan's intimate pastime. Then Krishna also wake up. Sri Radha. So Manjaris are very fortunate. Their service are so fortunate. Right? Special service, Gurudev. Even the Sakti has not that service. So what is the difference between Manjaris and Sakti? Because they all say that all are gopis. And what is the meaning of gopi bhav? What is the meaning of gopi bhav first? Then what is the meaning of sakhi bhav? And what is the meaning of mandiri bhav? Bhav is feeling, right? Explain to all them. They want to revive this. We, we know, but we want to revive more and more. I think everybody knows this. But revival is relishing. It's not boring enough. When we <laughs> relish, it is not is more giving feelings. Really, if you listen one time, next time it's boring to you. But power and feelings never make you bored. Then you select which which mode you are living. I can choose myself. Explain Maharaj, one how you explain, one how he explain, like this. Actually, I wish to hear from Tarun Baba, which is very, <laughs> very elevated. Yeah, Tarun Baba. I also want that you explain. Mm -hmm. um. Jai Randa Maharaj is much more senior to me, Gurudev. This, <laughs> no, no. this is not good etiquette. Aja Gauranga Sundar also scholar. It's frustrating. Yeah. Gurudev. Radhe, Radhe Gurudev, I think that we all are very eager to yeah. hear your explanations. 
And <laughs> I'm sorry, Guru. <laughs> all one. Only listen. Other, what is the all are sharing here? Then they are asking. Sri Ram. Yeah, Jananda Maharaj. Yes, Guru Dev. <clears throat> so, Gopi Baba means general word. Gopi means coward, coward lady. So, could be, you know, could be like, uh, could be young Gopi, could be elder Gopi. So, Gopi Baba is very general speaking. But the point is, they are thinking Krishna's first. They can give up their body for, for the sake of Krishna. But in Gopi Baba, generally speaking, maybe, you know, kind of Madura Baba. And uh, so, um, Saki Baba means, Saki means friend. So, their Baba is, is friend of Radharani. So, some kind of gopis, uh, three kinds of gopis, Vishabhasuneha uh, gopi, Samasuneha Gopi, Radhadik Sneha Gopi. So some, some Gopis uh, more favorable, they like, they love Krishna more than Radha. This is Vishamba Sneha Gopi, a Saki. And some, some, some Saki, they deal, they love Krishna and Radha same way. And uh, Radha Adik Sneha Saki is generally speaking, it is Manjari. So some Saki has sa friend of Radha Rani. So therefore, they may enter the Kunja, but uh, they, they are. They could not enter in bedroom, Nikunja. So because they are, most of people, they try to serve Radha and Krishna. But uh, some slight difference is they may want to enjoy Krishna. Like uh, they play Rasa Lira. They, they want to dance with Krishna or they want to amorous pastime with Krishna. But uh, this is Saki Baba. So they have some chance they may play Krishna directly. But uh, Manjari, they never think to enjoy Krishna because they are so fixed to the service of Radha. Therefore, Radha Rani allow Manjari to enter in bedroom Nikunja and Manjari could serve accordingly their desire. <coughs> Means Radha Mohan desire. Whatever they need, they can do anything. Even though Krishna called Manjari, come, I can give you, you know, I can give you very nice thing. We can enjoy. But Manjari, no, 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 no. no. My body is belong to Swamini, Radha. I cannot do this. So this kind of mentality and Manjari has. So therefore, <coughs> yes, we are leading <coughs> in Lasarira. So 
gopis and sakis, they may dance with Krishna. But uh, Manjari, they don't dance. They're just ready for the seva. And <clears throat> at that time, uh, Bishaka asked uh, Torashi Manjari, Lati Manjari, pray Bina. So for their pleasure, for Radha Mohan's pleasure, or for senior gopis, this uh, is pleasure. <coughs> Torashi Manjari pray. So our manja and Mahaprabhu give us Unnato Juara Dasa. Nobody give us ever. This is Manjari Baba. Because Manjari could see both feeling. Manjari's feeling is same as Radha. But also Manjari could see Krishna's feeling. Sometimes Radha Ran is man. Then Krishna could not come across with Radha because Radha is deny Mohan. At that time, Manjari, only Manjari could help Mohan to approach Radha. And in Nikunjarira, they can know both feeling. Manjari could know Radha's feeling. Manjari could know Krish Mohan's feeling. But Saki may know Radha's feeling or they may know Mohan's feeling, but they, are, they, are, they, they cannot access very deeper feeling, Madanakya Mahababa, because, because they cannot enter very intimate pastime, because Radha Rani does not allow them to enter. So this is a very simple explanation, and uh, uh, Tarun Baba and uh, Gorang Sundar Prabhu is explained more nicely because I'm, I'm, I am I'm don't know. I'm, I'm you. You explain about Onat Ujjwal Rasa Mahaprabhu what masses bring. One day you explain Onat Ujjwal Rasa. Yes. Onat Ujjwal Rasa. Yes. That I want to listen again. <laughs> Because what say, no? <laughs> and what is the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Okay, <laughs> like a previous age, like uh, say, a Naimishan, uh, no, not Naimishan, yeah, a uh, Lama Chandra's pastime. Some, some sage see Lama Chandra, and uh, some sage want to be. Uh, enjoy with Lama Chandra, but the Lama Chandra has 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 he has some brother, only one wife, Sita. So they could not become wife of Lama Chandra. So some or other, you know, they can become gopi, and the personification Beda also they hear. Gopi's greatness. So they become Gopi. So before Mahaprabhu, maybe Jayadeva, Goswami, Jayadeva, or maybe Chandidas, some other great Kabiraj poet, they describe only Gopi Baba or Saki Baba. But uh, never describes Manjari Baba. So Mahaprabhu, Krishna's leader, Krishna's leader, Krishna could not understand Radha's feeling. Because uh, 
in uh, one past time, I think Prema Sarbar or something. Radharani's sitting on the kneel of Krishna, or maybe the other side. Anyway, Radha and Krishna stay together. But uh, some parts, some bees coming, bumblebees coming. So rather than try to get get out bee, because we are enjoying with Mohan, please get out, you know, that, like this. But uh, bumblebee could not go because Radharani's face is like lotus. Radharani's hand is like lotus. Radharani's leg is like lotus. Very beautiful. So much nectar. So bumblebee tried to come face Radharani's hand and lotus feet. And then Madhumangara came. No, 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 no. He has stick. No, no, no. Get out, get out, get out. Then Bumblebee was gone. Then Madhu Mangara said, Oh, Madhu Sudan is gone. So, and then Radharani just listening. Madhu Sudan is gone. And then Radharani become crazy. Oh, my mother Suda is gone. My mother Suda is gone. And become crazy. Krishna is just next to Radharani. Krishna could not understand what's going on. What kind of love Radharani has. So, and that incident, also many incident, Krishna could not understand what kind of love, prema she has. So Krishna was wondering, how can I understand Radharani's Maha, Madanakya Mahababa? How can I understand Mahababa? What to do? And uh, what kind of attractiveness I have? I don't know by myself. I don't know. How to taste that Radharani's love, Prema, Mahababa. Because I was always served by Radharani. So, I don't, I don't, I don't experience it. Of course, sometimes Krishna serves Radharani, but, but it's not enough. So, Krishna was thinking, oh, I have to, I have to become devotee. I have to steal Radharani's mood. I should cover Radhana's golden color. And then he become Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. So first desire, Krishna want to become taste. This Radharani's love. So, but how to taste Radharani's love? Who knows Radharani's love? That is a question. Is Saki could understand Radharani's love? No. Because Saki could not enter very, very intimate pastime of Radha Mohan. Saki could not access. Who knows Radharani's Nikunja Lira? Who knows very, very intimate pastime of Radha Mohan? Only Manjari could see. Only Manjari could taste feeling. Because, because Manjari 
and radar is same feeling, like a same, same, like same one sense. Like a Rupa Manjari from radar lines, Rupa become Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari took radar's Rupa. Lati Manjari took radar lines, Lati mood. So only Manjari could enter Nikunjarira, and only Manjari could feel like a Birabax Manjari, first bus. Rupa Manjari, Rupa Manjari, so taste, chaste, uh, so, so, uh, so faithful to the husband. Rupa Manjari could not see other man's face, but his lips was cut. Why? Because Krishna bite Nadarani's lips. And same feeling Rupa Manjari feel it. So therefore, if Mahaprabhu want to taste, want to enjoy Radharani's mood, then he has to become Radha and also he want to taste as Manjari. Yeah. So Mahaprabhu personally, he did not show us not so much as Manjari Baba because he is Radha Baba. So therefore, Mahaprabhu empowered Rupa Manjari, Rupa Goswami. You should write. You should do. You should do distribute this feeling. So Rupa Goswami wrote Bhakti Rasa Murita Sindhu and Rupa Goswami wrote Ujwara Niramani and so many Rasa literature. So only Rupa Goswami, he's, as far as I know, he's first person to broadcast Manjari Baba. Because he's top Manjari. Among the Saki, Rarita Saki is top. Among the Manjari, Rupa Manjari is top. So therefore, whenever Mahaprabhu appear, Rupa, Rupa Manjari also appear as Rupa Goswami. So Rupa Goswami teach us or broadcast this Manjari Baba. Therefore, our Gaudiya Vaishnava, especially someone who follow Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari, it is called Rupa Anuga, follower of Rupa Goswami. So therefore, no other age, no Manjari Baba, only Brahmas one day, only after Mahaprabhu come, at that time Manjari Baba appear. There is, but uh, they have no, no qualification to, to tell us, distribute us. So therefore, we are so fortunate because we are, we are now born after Mahaprabhu and after Rup, Rup, Rupa Goswami. So by the mercy of Acharya, like Shad Goswami, Six Goswamis, especially Rupa Ragunata, so we say Sanatana Rupa Ragunata, and also many Acharyas, like Narottama Das Thakur, Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur, many Vaishnava, and also Anandas Bhaj Maharaj. He was so excellent taste, this Unnato Juarabasa, this, this Manjari Baba. He, he described so nicely, amazing. He's completely tasting and seeing and uh, 
digesting which we could understand we we could do we have he give chance to enter more deeply this manjari baba so i really appreciate anandas babaj maharaj tarun baba is he's my like uh, really my guru dev i also respect tarun baba who is so intimate disciple of anandas babaj maharaj sorry my explanation is not so good but uh, I just some small small explanation. But what is the meaning of Unnat Ujjwal Rasa? You not bring that. So <laughs> Unnat Ujjwal Rasa is Manjari Baba, honestly speaking. No, Unnat why? Hmm? What? One day you explain very nicely. Ujjwal Rasa was there. Yes, Ujjwal Rasa is like a, yes, Ujjwal Rasa is like a Saki Baba, Gopi Baba. But uh, among the Gopi Baba, Saki Baba, but Manjari Baba is completely new things, Guru Dev. So therefore, Unnat, 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 so Unnat, Unnat, when I'm more so therefore, improved. Yes. So nobody, nobody, nobody knows. Nobody tell. It's completely news. No, no actually there, but uh, nobody tell before Rupa Goswami. So there's therefore, one. There's one yes. thing more, if I may, yes. you may share. It's nice to, to hear Unatachwala Rasa. This is the highest Rasa possible, but actually, the next line is much more important. Svabhakti Shriyam is actually what makes Unatachwala Rasa the highest because Svabhakti Shriyam, this word Shri generally means very wonderful, but actually, in this case, it means Svabhakti Shriyam. So, this highest Unatachwala Rasa. This highest rasa of all is actually Svabhakti Shriyam. Shri here means Radhika. Shri here means Swamini. So this Unatachwala rasa, Svabhakti Shriyam, means this was never given before. It was always given Svabhakti Krishna, but not Bhakti, Svabhakti Shriyam. So this Shriyam, Shri here means Radhika. So actually this Unatachwala rasa is actually directed straight to the lotus feet of, of, of Maharani, of Swamini. So this makes this Unadachwala Rasa so much more special than any other Rasa because it's Swabhakti Shriyam. It is directed di to the lotus feet of Radharani. For me, this is such a nice explanation, this, that here Shri is not meaning splendid or brilliant or wonderful, but Shri here means, by the explanation of the Rasika Acharyas, Shri here means Radhika. Yeah. Oh. So it means Sua Bhakti, Sua Bhakti Shriyam. So Sua, uh, Sua is a kind of natural, original Bhakti for Radha. So who, who has original Bhakti for Radha? This is Manjari. So therefore that is Unnato Jual Basa, is Manjari Baba. That's, I got some inspiration Baba, from uh, Tarun yeah. Baba. Yeah. 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 Sorry, what? Sorry. He's not diverse, then. But it's uh, juicy because many juice is there. So I'm drinking, we are drinking that. Right? We are relishing. Thank you, Jainanda Maharaj. Uh, beautiful. We enjoy your your uh, utsahan, your eagerness, your enthusiasm, and your love. It's uh, amazing to feel. And I feel good. Dave wants us that we can feel this and relish this and uh, inspire us. 
but I request to everyone, if you want to go in more juicy details, then you come in picture, not in name. I close your camera, I check everyone. I will check everyone how you feel it. You understanding or you are interested to go on. I will feel with this. Who is not interested, who will not give the picture. I will check everyone. Because I am not telling, they will share and I will feel them. We are together, we are not very far. They are coming. I can see. Yeah. Uh, go on. <laughs> yes. Goranga Sundar is hiding. I am not seeing too. I said to come here, but he is not there. Yeah, mm -hmm. go on. So Tulasi thinks. Yeah. I want to become expert in anything connected with devotional service. Wow. But you see that all this will come clear. Yeah. yeah. This is also Swamini's desire. Let my kinkari become expert in her servants. Yeah. Oh. She wants to make us expert in the service. We cannot do. No. I we cannot do. Mama do everything for the baby. Right? So we cannot. See, teachers like an expert to us. <laughs> From childhood she is teaching. When we decide to become manjari, bhava, she start teaching breastfeeding. Everything she do. Babies, no way without mama breast, she cannot learn to grow. Uh, child, child cannot grow in his sarupa way. She is teaching. She is giving us breastfeeding. She is guiding us. She is singing with Mallow how to play the instruments. Wow. Go on. To the lotus feet of such a merciful mistress, my Guru Dev has submitted me. Wow. Wow. Then we feel, wow, my Gurudev, so nice, merciful. My life becomes successful. He has shown me the, that the greatest thing in life is Swamini's service in Swamini's maid servanthood. Wow. How, how I, I am wasting my life if I am callous and indifferent towards the lotus feet of such a mistress. Careless means numb or feelingless. Feelingless, uh, How I am uh, feelingless if I am indifferent toward the lotus feet of such a mistress who personally teaches her maidservants how to serve her. Uh, Even now, I cannot recognize myself as Radha's Dasi, but I remain immersed in false 
temporary bodily consciousness and its expansions. I could yeah, that's the problem, Rudy. <laughs> we identify ourselves as a body, then problem. And then we identify body, then we start moving out of it. Then External. The problems move. External. I could still not take Sri Radha's lotus feet in my heart or to my chest to massage me. Sri Radha. An aspirant becomes ashamed when he realizes his own unfortunate condition after hearing and chanting about the activities and the teachings of the Acharyas, our Goswamis. Srila Das Goswami, who became intoxicated by drinking the honey that trickles from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet and thus gave up his wife that was as beautiful as an angel and his wealth that equaled that wealth of Indra, the king of heaven, as if they were stool to become poorer than a beggar. He wrote in his Mukta Charitra, I worship the full moon that rose in the sky of Mother Sachi's womb to brighten up the world with the nectar of his own devotion. But what kind of people of this age are we? Sriman Mahaprabhu showed us the path of bhajan, of taste, of constant attraction, the path of natural mindness, <coughs> experience of rasa, of love and the pinnacle of bliss. This is not the path of fear, of reverence or obstacles. But without experiencing transcendental Bhagavad Rasa, one naturally starts to engage in worldly activities and attachments and constant attraction to Krishna will not arise. I don't understand. Explain this. Somebody, hey. No, Tarun Govinda, explain this line. Can you read it again, please, Suniti? Yes. Sriman Mahaprabhu showed us the path of bhajan, of taste, of constant attraction, the path of natural mindness, experience of rasa, of love, and the pinnacle of bliss. 
This is not the path of fear, of reverence, or obstacles. But without experiencing transcendental Bhagavad Rasa, one naturally starts to engage in worldly activities and attachment and constant attraction to Krishna will not arise. So first here, Baba is saying that actually Raganuga Bhakta, Raganuga Bhakti is not the path of fear and obstacles. So here is Baba is saying Raganuga Bhakti is not Vaidhi Bhakti. This is the first thing. And he is saying that um, as long as we are still Raganuga Bhakti and Vaidhi Bhakti, explain. So here Baba is saying Raganuga Bhakti is not bound to uh, follow to regulative principles and the, the, the driving nature is not fear. So bhakti is made only by regulative principles and driven by fear of God and fear of punishment. This is not Raganuga Bhakti. Raganuga Bhakti means that we follow it naturally, that we follow someone who has this raga in the heart. We follow them. We don't follow because we fear that we will get punished if we do something wrong. So actually Raganuga Bhakti has nothing to do with fear. So Vaidhi Bhakti... We start maybe with Vaidhi Bhakti, but at some point we come into contact with a Rasika saint who is practicing Raganuga Bhakti, and then we will take up the path of Raganuga Bhakti, which is inspired by love, by compassion, and by humility. So here Baba is clearly saying this is a very is a big obstacle if we are still uh, bound by Vaidhi Bhakti. And uh, the next point he is making is that the more we are attracted. To worldly, to worldly things, and uh, the more we don't have this taste in our heart, the more we will not get the rasa, rasa in our hearts. So the more we are attracted to worldly and mundane pleasure, Krishna or Radha Bhakti can never, ex can never be experienced in our hearts. So we have to be very, very strict and we have to be very conscious about these things. The more we engage in worldly pleasure, the less we can experience uh, uh, Raganuga Bhakti. So this has to be always be kept in the mind. It's very important. Baba is clearly saying here that the more we are bound to mundane pleasure, the less we can experience rasa. Yes, it's okay, clear. More question. Yeah. Anyone has a question on this point? Yeah. Very clear. To me also clear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So this natural experience of rasa is what infused. Is Natural. What is natural? What natural? Fearless, in a flow, in a continuation. How is natural? Can you explain about that? How is natural? How it can be natural? <laughs> Gurudev Jeto Tarpana Marchanam. The more we become free from the contamination, the more it becomes natural. And also, is, I, when the relation is fixed, yes, it becomes natural. Yeah, otherwise, Jeto Tarpana Marchanam will never work. Without the relationship, it will never work. Uh, relation fixed means where is my relation that you have to check. That relation is there. God, if this was, I have to speak honestly, when I was all my years from 89 until I met Baba and then I met you, 
this chedo darpana marjanam process, this cleaning of the mind and the cleaning of the heart, we always had yeah. this, Suniti, you also, we always had this in our in our Sangha that this has to be done, this has to be done, this has to be done. But without knowing who I am, it is never possible. It is so much easier to know when you have a certain relationship, a fixed relationship, what you will expect in the mirror, because it's not like the mirror will show something very woo, very very something spectacular. But if you know the relationship as a manjari to Swamini and to Krishna, this Cheta Dharpana Marjanam process is actually much more easier. And it is a very big misunderstanding to understand that you don't, you are not qualified to know your relationship. You have to do Cheta Dharpana Marjanam until you get this relationship. This is a big, big mistake. And I'm so thankful to you, Gurudev, and to Baba and also to Narayan Maharaj, to a certain extent, of course, that this is actually much more important to know who I am and what is my relationship. And then Jeta Darpana Marjanam is for me, I only can speak for my humble self, much more easier than to just clean the heart and clean the mind. But who the hell I am? This is what I was always asking. Who am I? So they say you wait and wait and wait, but no. Without fixing relationship, it will never happen. It may happen. It, I will not say never. It may happen, but it's very difficult. Relation after Chetu Darpana Majam happening. Why? Because the ego of mind is not going. My relation is there, but influence will come old relation. Hmm. So then we have a relation with me, my Saru, myself, with you, then relation blockage come. Then Cheto does Panamajanam will help you. So um, Acharya recommend to chant and Cheto Darpanam Majanam do that way with the bhajan, bhajan kriya, not only bhajan, kriya means behave in that direction, the, the way, what you decide, that way you kriya happening or not, watch that, in your relation, in, with your relation. And so, yes, okay. I like to uh, <clears throat> I like to share um, something at this point, Gurudev. Uh, when I was when we was last time in uh, Vrindavan, we spoke about the fire. Mm -hmm. And who are close to the fire, he become uh, the same nature of the fire. So. Uh, this is natural comes from the word nature and if we are close to the fire we become the same nature quality like the fire and then when we are fire then it's our nature there is nothing to to explain it is our nature we are fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in my in fire. fire. Yeah. In Italian, yeah. In the world. No? In Italian, yeah. the world, nature is similar to the to nato or nascere, that is uh, having be born. No? In Italian, what is what natural eh? or natural is similar to the Italian word to be of uh, birth, take birth, take birth. Mm -hmm. So nature can be the Maduri non si sente Maduria. <laughs> nature can be the the quality the quality that we have when we take birth. New birth. 
Ma Duria Rasa non si sente la voce. So, uh, Mahaprabhu was not teaching uh, Bhaiti Bhakti, Raga Bhakti. So, if our, our ego, contamination, anarta, okay. disappear, and by the, by the fire of Gurudev, our anarta disappear, and we can establish relationship, then natural love, love appear. Then that everything flow, everything natural. So we are kind of, we are not doing, we are just on the floor, just floating for love, for the lotus feet of Radharani Seba. This, this is natural. natural. <laughs> Gurudev, um, I, I was very inspired by this um, uh, Italian devotee. I don't know the name. Ra Sunidhi, who is next to you? Jai Ho Yashodananda. I was so much inspired because actually when you say that the word natural has something to do with birth, actually okay. I was always thinking that um, the real birth is when we get the Bhakti Lata Picha. So this the, the, the Guru giving, Guru get, Gurudev is giving Bhakti Lada Beach is actually the birth of our spiritual journey. And then by this Bhakti Lada Beach, there is also, I asked Baba once, I asked Baba once, Yugal Gishore, he made a video when I asked Baba what actually means to receive the Bhakti Lada Beach. And Baba is saying everything is in this Bhakti Lada Beach. Gurudev will reveal your Smaru and the name of your Svaru. And from this moment on, if you cultivate Raganuka Bhakti, that means it's actually a natural birth. So I was very happy that Baba giving this, giving this two minute talk because it's very important that Bhakti Lada Beach is not some, some metaphor or some example, but actually it is the most important thing for a Jiva in, in his life. And one yeah. thing, Ananda is after <laughs> material thing. You see, Ananda is our material body, my senses, my false ego. And Ananda Nivritta is how we become when we are natural in my sarup. Child. I mean, our sarup. Effect will not come. Effect can bring you from your identification of your saru to the sadhak there. Again, the bhajan kriya is there. So again, you, you go back because kriya is there. Your nature becomes living in the kriya. So bhajan kriya becomes back to you again. So you cannot go outer than that. Hmm. Again, also, you go back to Saru, because we have to know that Saru is a natural for me. It's a natural. Godev, there was also, uh, I had one, one encounter with Baba. I remember also clearly and this was also for me personally a big, big uh, realization. Actually, when Gurudev is revealing the Sita Deha, the Sita Swarupa, so he gives the name of that Sita Deha. Let's say so and so Manjari. It doesn't matter now, everyone has got his own name. But actually, it is said Nama Rupa Guna. So when we get this name from Gurudev of our Sita Swarupa, of our eternal form, this name is actually not different from the Swarupa. So if we meditate nicely on the name of our Swaru, it has the same effect like we meditate on the name of Krishna because it is not from this material world because the, the Siddha Deha is actually from Swarupa Shakti. 
So that means if we meditate on our mind about the name like you gave to your disciple and Baba gave to me and Baba gave to his disciples. So this Manjari name is actually on the spiritual platform. We don't, I don't realize this, but actually it is the same powerful meditation that it has the same qualities. It is not different from the form. So if your name is so-and-so and you meditate every morning and you try to meditate on that name, this name is actually not different from the form. And this will help you to become more and more accustomed to that Swarupa and then it gets more natural. This was for me a really, really nice realization because I was always thinking, yeah, it's a name, you know. But actually, Jiva Goswami is saying in Priti Sandarbha, the spiritual form is from the spiritual world. And the name of that form that you get from Gurudev, age, name, dress, and all these things, they are not different from the form. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Right. And that is the real meditation. What you will meditate, what you know, this is a meditation. Can I say something? Yeah. Gopinath, I inspired him to say something. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you see, he's a hidden boy. Radhe Radhe. <laughs> wow, so beautiful. <laughs> Just one thing came to me when uh, Tarun Baba was talking about Cheto Darpa Marjanam, which also Gurudev always emphasizes. And uh, what just came to me was, what is the easiest way or the best way to clean the mirror of our mind? And Tarun already pointed it out. And I just felt the easiest way, which Gurudev has brought to us, Nantadas Babaji, is Leela Smaran. If we engage our mind in the divine Leela of Prada and Mohan, then everything automatically and naturally will be cleaned and will become you know, clear to us. And so these Leelas, which we are relishing through the books of Raghunath Das Goswami and the commentaries of Ananta Das Bhavaji, are such a gift and blessing to really know who I am as a Manjari, you know, what is my service and Another thing which came to me earlier, but uh, I was a bit shy to say, but if you allow me, I just wanted to add, there is a beautiful sequence to this Leela when Radharani takes Tulsi to the Kunja to teach her a secret song, which she then has to play for them in the Kunja Leela, Nikunja Leela. But somehow the parrot informs Mohan that Radharani is alone with Tulsi in the Kunja, and Tarun already uh, shared with us that he appears, you know, he cannot resist, and he appears and he's listening um, to Tulsi playing the Veena, which Swamini is teaching. And then um, they spot him, and he enters the Kunja, and then he says, Are, Radhe, you're only teaching your maidservants, why don't you teach me? And then she says, ah, you will never learn it. <laughs> You're a hopeless case, you know. <laughs> and then uh, and then she says, but then one says, okay, but then let me listen what your student, what Tulsi has learned. And then um, Swamini instructs Tulsi to play the Veena. And Tulsi, very shy, of course, in front of her mistress, bows her head and starts playing a beautiful song which incites and excites the Jugala Kishore and, you know, uh, creates these amorous feelings in them. And so they retreat into the Kunja and uh, Tulsi understands now that her role was this to, to play the song so that they can engage in their loving sporting pastimes. And um, it shows how expert the Manjaris are and what exalted role they have in the Leela that this is their service, always be expert in everything. And that's what Gurudev also and Andras Bhavaji are always emphasizing how important uh, our role is there. So I just, yeah, that was it. Wonderful. Thank you. Kobina, I have, to, I have to say something also to this. I just remember, this is so wonderful. You said that the most easiest way is 
to clean our minds with remembrance of the pastimes of Lila Smaranam. So here we have to understand one very, very important point. Actually, in the Bhagavatam, it is written that Vikritam, this wonderful verse. Some people say you should not listen to these intimate pastimes until you're qualified. But again, this is not Gaudiya Vaishna philosophy. It is said you listen to these pastimes and then lust will leave your heart. So this is the only medicine what Gurudev and Baba is giving us that actually only by listening to these pastimes, our lust and our anathas can go out. It's not the other way around. We have to get first, we have to get free of the anathas and then we can listen to this pastime. This is completely wrong. It is said that it is a process. You will hear these things, they come in and the other things go out. This is for me very, very, a very important. Uh, point. And I think in Prema Bhakti Chandrika, it, sa it says, what Anastakur is saying, that the only regulative principle of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, the only regulative principle is Leela Smaran. <laughs> 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 I'm so lucky that we have so many Rasika. We like to listen who is in that, who is going on and on. I'm so lucky of your association. Bless me that I can also grow with you and learn more. Maharani. I have a very short time. Maharani also want to share something. Yeah, come. Maharani want to share. I would like to say from the back. I was thinking. Um, Maharani is here. Radhe Radhe. Hi, Radhe Radhe Maharani. Radhe Radhe Maharani. Glad to see you in Munge Mandir. See Maharani, she is uh, waiting to, that you are coming. She yeah. comes to see. I came to see you, now you're not here. <laughs> so I'm here. I just realized um, about natural, it helps us not to be artificial. Mm. Because if we don't know who we are, we start to speculate who we are. We try to have our wishes and I would like to do this service or this service. And then we cannot go deep. But by the moment Gurudev reveals us who we are and what is our service, we only get the connection and then we can stop speculating. And I feel that's, that's how we become like safe uh, in spiritual uh, life. Yeah. And then we can go deep. And before, it's just all speculation. Thank you. Very nice. Is a tough, is higher. Nothing can go more now. <laughs> so, <laughs> for next day, I see the also start. What? Yeah, this is very oh, highly. Not yet. Nothing huh? more. <laughs> go more now. <laughs> 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 I'll be happy. Thanks, brother. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is coming, I say you, you see that Jesus, I love Jesus because his natural love as a son to the Father is also yeah. there. I love it because of this. His natural love he come to show, but nobody understands. By mercy of Radhika Kripa, all you will understand how natural love he comes to give in 2000 uh, years. L'amore naturale della mamma. Natural love. Then you can see eh, the natural che... love of the mother, natural love of the uh, friends, natural love of the all. What is the natural they have? Friendly natural love. 
natural love of that. Conjugal love, natural love of this is all divine. This natural love, when we not respect divine, it's not a realization can come. It's a natural, a natural is pure and divine. With her, Sarupavish, yeah.